and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Thursday of the sixth week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Louis Punzalan SVD. Our celebration will now begin. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be always with you. And with your spirit. On the way to Caesarea Philippi, Jesus asked the disciples, Who do people say that I am? And they said, Some say you are John the Baptist. Others claim that you are Elijah. And still others, that you are one of the prophets. And then Jesus added the most important question of all. Who do you say that I am? It was Peter who said, you are the Christ. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling that is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers and sisters, show no partiality 
as you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. For if a man with gold rings and fine clothes come into your assembly, and a poor person with shabby clothes also comes in, and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes and say, Sit here, please. While you say to the poor one, Stand there, or sit at my feet. Have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil designs? Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters. Did not God choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom that He promised to those who love Him? But you dishonor the poor. Are not the rich oppressing you? And do they themselves not haul you off to court? Is it not they who blaspheme the noble name that was invoked over you? However, if you fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You are doing well. But if you show partiality, you commit sin and are convicted by the law as transgressors. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you Hallelujah The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples set out for the villages of Caesarea Philippi. Along the way, he asked the disciples, Who do people say that I am? And they said, John the Baptist. Others, Elijah, is still others one of the prophets. And then he asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said to him in reply, You are the Christ. And then he warned them not to tell anyone about him. Jesus began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer greatly, and be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and be killed and rise after three days. He spoke this openly and then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke Jesus. 
At this, Jesus turned around and, looking at the disciples, rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan! You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Some say you are John the Baptist. Others say you are Elijah. And still, there are others who claim that you are one of the prophets. My dear friends in Christ, there is hardly anything in the gospel that shows the sheer force of the personality of Jesus as does this incident. This moment was like a crisis in the personal life of the Lord. Whatever his disciples might be thinking, he knew for sure that a head lay an inescapable cross. Things could not go on much longer. The opposition to him, the opposition to his mission, was gathering itself to strike. The problem that was confronting the Lord at this point was this. Had he any effect at all? Had he any effect at all? He wanted to find out. Did I have any effect to anybody at all? Had he achieved anything at all? Had anyone discovered who he really was? If he had lived and taught and moved among people, and then no one got a glimpse of who he really is, that he is God, then all his work, all his miracles, all the parables, all the teachings had gone for nothing. And there was one way that he could leave a message with people and that was to write the message on someone's heart. Write the message on someone's heart. And so at this moment, our Lord put all things to the test. He asked the disciples, what people were saying about him and what are some popular rumors and reports about him. And when he asked the question, there was a breathless silence. He put a question that meant so much, who do you say that I am? And suddenly everybody was quiet and it was Peter, the primus inter pares, the first among equals, the spokesman of the twelve, the most talkative, it was Peter who realized what he had always known deep down in his heart. And Peter said, Oh, you are the Messiah, Lord. You are the Christ. You are the Anointed One. You are the Son of God. And with that confession of Peter, our Lord knew that he did not fail. That he was able to write his message on somebody else's heart, on Peter's heart. Now we come to a question that has been half put and half answered in detail or the whole gospel is not fully intelligible. No sooner had Peter made this discovery that Jesus told him and told the others what he must undergo. Our Lord said to them, the Son of Man must suffer greatly. He will be rejected by the elders and the chief priests, the scribes, and be killed and rise after three days. What were the messianic ideas that were in the minds of people when Jesus came? They were violent. They were nationalistic. They were destructive. They were vengeful. No wonder... Jesus had to re-educate the disciples 
on the meaning of this of messiahship no wonder they crucified him in the end as a heretic there was no room for a cross and there was little room for suffering in a picture like that and when jesus connected messiahship with suffering and death he was making statements that were to the disciples incredible he was making statements that were to the disciples incomprehensible all their lives they had thought of the messiah in terms of irresistible con conquest they were now being presented with an idea that surprised them that the messiah will suffer that the messiah will be hung on the cross that the messiah will die on the cross that is why peter violently protested and said no this cannot happen to you lord because to peter the whole thing was impossible the whole idea was crazy and so the lord rebuked peter sternly because peter was putting into words the very temptations of satan the very temptations of satan you remember the temptations of satan addressed to the lord if you want to be this if you want to be that at this moment he was again fighting the battle of temptations in the wilderness this was the devil in peter tempting him again to fall down and worship him to take his way instead of the way of god the tempter is in the person of peter that is why the lord said get behind me satan your place is not in front of me you cannot dictate to me your place is behind me my dear brothers and sisters in today's gospel the tempter actually is not satan but a well-meaning friend a close disciple in the person of peter who in good faith rebuke and advise jesus to avoid suffering and defeat according to peter jesus is messiah he is son of god and he will be he cannot be a suffering messiah a defeated messiah on the road to calvary and when peter was saying this our lord recognized the voice of satan on the lips of peter satan is the enemy in peter's advice peter is taking up the role of the tempter in this gospel and that is why the lord reprimands peter and commands him peter satan take your proper place your proper place is to be behind not in front of me you are my follower peter i am the leader the lord says you are my follower you stay there that is your proper place you are a stumbling block to my mission that is why the lord said to him get behind me satan you are thinking not as god does but as men do amen as we gather to celebrate the mystery of our salvation let us turn to god the father with confidence and implore his mercy the response will be lord let our lives proclaim you lord let our lives proclaim you that the holy father may keep the church in the faith of peter let us pray to the lord lord let our lives proclaim you that christians may follow the footsteps of christ by accepting their daily crosses in imitation of his suffering let us pray to the lord lord let our lives proclaim you that those who find their crosses heavy and burdensome may find strength and consolation in jesus let us pray to the lord lord let our lives proclaim you 
that the sick may see in their illness a splinter of the cross of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let our lives proclaim you. For our civil and political leaders, that the Holy Spirit may guide them to make sound and swift policy decisions to fight this public health crisis and come to aid of those lacking in basic necessities in life and devise social and economic solutions for the welfare of citizenry. We also pray and thank you for the ordinary people who find ways to help the least and the less among the society. May the true Bayanihan spirit prevail among all of us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let our lives proclaim you. That those who have gone before us in faith may see the Redeemer who suffered for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord let, let our, our lives, lives proclaim you. you. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your people and listen also to the prayers of our benefactors, our sponsors, and our donors and friends. Help us to embrace the daily challenges of the cross. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us. May it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Santo, 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 Santo. 
Panginoong Diyos na makapangyarihan na pupuno ang langit at lupa ng kalwalatian mo. O sana, o sana sa kaitasan, o sana, o sana sa kaitasan. Nagpala ang naparirito sa ngala ng Panginoon. O sana, o sana sa kaitasan, o sana, o sana sa kaitasan. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it, gave it to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. Gave the chalice to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in remembrance of me. The Mystery of Our Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread all over the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop. Remember your servants, Manuel Galicto, Jose Climaco, Grace Pascual, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like His may also be one with Him in His resurrection. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy, and welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray for the intentions of our benefactors and sponsors as we pray the Our Father together. Our, our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us, us this day our, our daily bread forgive and forgive us our trespasses as we, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil. Deliver our country from other evils. In your mercy, give us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety and fear as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
yours. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. You said to the apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your people, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace and consolation of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Greet one another with a sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Who do you say that I am? And Peter said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the suffering Messiah, the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sin of the world. Happy are those invited to receive Him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot receive you at this moment sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you um. Very good reader. Very good. Let us pray. <coughs> Having fed upon the heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for the food by which we truly live through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. 
Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Saint Joseph. Saint Raphael the Archangel. San Roque. San Lorenzo Ruiz. San Pedro Calongsod. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Freinademix. Kindly be seated for a short announcement. As we are now under alert level 2, the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word now welcomes all fully vaccinated individuals in the celebration of the Holy Mass. Inside the Shrine, up to 50% capacity, and outside the Shrine, up to 90% capacity. Our regular Mass schedule is as follows. Weekdays and Saturdays, 6.30 a.m. and 6 p.m. Sundays, 8 and 10 a.m. 4 and 6 p.m. See you all soon. Thank you. Reverend Father Ronnie Crisostomo, SVD Shrine Rector. Good morning from the Philippines. It is 7.10 in the morning of Thursday here in the Philippines. And those in Europe and in America and, um, and, and, and Canada, magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Father Louis Punsalan, SVD, ako po ay nakadistino dito sa Christ the King at ako ang in-charge sa aming donor care program. Ang ibig sabihin ng donor care program, kami po ay naghahanap ng mag sponsor tutulong sa pag-aaral ng ating mga seminaristang nagpapare. Uh, these are the future Divine Word missionaries. They are the future priests and missionaries of the Society of the Divine Word that administers Christ the King Mission Seminary. Kung nais po ninyong tumulong at patuloy na tumulong, uh, aming tatanawin isang malaking utang na loob. Sana po huwag kayong magsasawang tumulong. At ito pong ating ginagawang misyon sa paghubog ng mga magiging pare ay isang napakagandang adhikain, napakagandang gawain para sa Panginoon. Huwag po sana tayong magsasawa, patuloy natin silang tulungan sapagkat ang kanilang paghuhubog at pag-aaral ay patuloy din dito sa Christ the King. If you are interested and if you are willing to, to share some of your resources or your blessings with our seminarians at Christ the King, we are showing in front of you our bank account details the uh, bank is Banco de Oro BDO Banco de Oro our account name is Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc again Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc do not miss any word in that account name sometimes I get Divine Word Mission Seminar Inc it's seminary and Inc do not 
Drop Inc. in the name Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc. Because the bank will not accept a check or any donation if the name is not complete. We beg for your forgiveness and understanding. And our account number is 000 Pwede pong dyan kayo magpadala ng inyong tulong But please uh, send me a copy of the transaction slip Or the transaction details In the uh, email address that is also provided In the announcement that you see on your screen Our email address is the uh, CK, uh, uh, CKMSDonorCare at gmail.com And I am personally attending to the mailbox of CKMSDonorCare at gmail.com Although it takes some time for me Sometimes it takes some time to reply to the emails Because of the other things that I have to do But I will reply, I will reply And uh, we are also keeping two GCash numbers That you will see on your screen If you want to send your donation, your financial aid, your support to our GCash numbers, we have two numbers. One is under Father Punsalan, that is yours truly, and the other is under Father Tagura, our rector in the seminary. So maraming, maraming salamat po. We continue to pray for you, and we hope you also pray for our seminarians, for their perseverance and for their joy in offering themselves in oblation to the Lord. At this point, I'd like to, because I started introducing our seminarians in small groups uh, two, two masses ago, uh, two or three masses ago. This time, I'd like to introduce to you our seminarians from the Cordilleras, meaning to say from the mountain province. They are Igorots, and one of them is a Tingyan. They are IP people, indigenous people. May I request the... Uh, Cordillera Seminarians to come forward to be seen by our benefactors and donors and friends of Christ the King, please. Including the Kambal. Can you please come forward in the middle of the cha of the sanctuary and please take off your mask so that your handsome faces can be seen by our by our seminar by our friends and donors. Ito po, yan po. Ito po yung mga Taga Mountain Province, yan po At ito hong naka-jacket ng pula Siya po yung tingyan But the five others, they are Pinapakita mo ba? Brother, pinapakita mo ba? Kita ba yung mukha nila? Okay, I will not mention the names of course But uh, they are the They are the people you are helping Ito po yung inyong tinutulungan Sana po patuloy natin silang tulungan Hanggang sa makarating sila sa altar At sila na ang nagmimisa dito sa altar balang araw palakpakan po natin ang mga seminaristang ito thank you very much thank you very much next Tuesday we will introduce the seminarians from Cagayan Valley Cagayan Valley and on Thursday we will introduce the seminarians from other parts of Luzon except Bicol so on Thursday it will be the turn of Pampanga Bulacan and Quezon Metro Manila will be a different group. Bicol will be a different group. So, next Thursday, Tuesday, Cagayan Valley. And on Thursday, rest of Luzon except Metro Manila. Let us all stand. The Lord be with you. And with yours. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace and pray for your priests. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Yeah.